we're here with Bill and Wendy Duvall for our front porch talk. Uh, the first round of questions are just scenario based questions. There's no, well, there's going to be a little bit of trivia here, but don't worry about that. The first question is if you could be a top tier professional athlete in any sport, what sport, what position would you play and why? Pitcher, baseball pitcher. Yes. Yeah. Always enjoyed it. I couldn't have played anything past high school, but I, I enjoyed it. The game guy needs his own pictures. Yeah. I always wanted to be it. Right. I would be a volleyball player. Okay. Mm -hmm. Summer. Yeah. In the same. Okay. That, that's, that's better. Uh, what futuristic thing from a sci fi movie or book do you wish actually existed right now? I'd time travel. That's what I'd like to Back to the future. Yeah. Oh, wow. The instantaneous, like traveling, like yeah. you go anywhere in the world. The experiences. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. If you could snap your fingers and make one species go extinct, which species would you choose? Reptiles. Snakes. Yeah, snakes. 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 Mosquitoes for me. We're here today with uh, Bob and Donna Pickerel. Super excited to get to spend some time with you guys and ask you some questions. So the first question is, if you could be a top tier professional athlete in any sport, what sport would you choose and what position would you play? I would be ice skating. Ice skating? Like so, figure skating? Yes. Okay. Okay. Obviously motorsport. Motorsports. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, number two, what futuristic thing from a sci-fi movie or book do you wish really existed right now? Uh, the beam me up, Scotty. Right, <laughs> okay. From Teleportation yes. kind of thing? Yes. All right, okay, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I always like the old Jules Verne stuff where they went through the blood stream and all. Okay. That's what we need right now. So okay, we right. Out what's Somebody right. <laughs> That's right. What was that movie? Uh, Fantastic Boys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, if you could snap your fingers and make one species go extinct, which one would you choose? Snakes. Snakes. <laughs> uh, probably go spiders. Spiders, okay. Snakes and spiders. We have plenty of money. <laughs> all right, so we are here at the house today. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, the first round of questions are scenario-based questions. Uh, the first one, if you could be a top-tier professional athlete in any sport, what sport, what position, and why? Hmm. Do you all have an answer? Yeah. What sport would you want to play if you could be the very best player? Soccer. 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 Yeah. What about you, Levi? Soccer. <laughs> soccer? I think it's soccer. What about you? I know what oh, you're going to say. Mine's easy. I'd be a pro football quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I guess soccer. That's what I played okay. in high school. Were you defense or offense? I played midfielder. Okay. So, kind of some of both. Yeah, yeah. And what team would you play for? Oh, I'd play for the... I would uh, play for the 49ers. Uh... Generally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What futuristic thing from a sci-fi movie or book do you wish really existed right now? Hmm. Are there some fancy gadgets and stuff we've seen in movies that you would like if it was real? What about like flying cars? That would be awesome. Like on the Jetsons, is that what they yeah. had? Yeah. That'd yeah. be pretty nice. Cars. Especially with kids on long trips, it'd be nice <laughs> to get there quicker. Invisa spray? I've seen that. Ooh. Is it incredible? Angry birds. Angry birds, yeah, okay. it is angry birds. Yeah. Okay. So you spray, spray something and it becomes invisible. Frip. Frip. I'd go with the time machine. As long as I had really good understanding of how it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'd be worried, like, Am I allowed to see the person? Like, yeah. As long as I'm not getting seen, 
or where to scatter. I don't know. Right, <laughs> with, just, with some control. You don't want this butterfly flat effect mm -hmm. thing. Okay, if you could snap your fingers and make any animal go extinct, which one would it be? Flies. Uh, yeah, we have a fly situation. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you all have them at your house, but they're like taking over our backyard. No, not yet. Spiders. Spiders, Spiders yeah. Let's get rid of those. All right. all right, we're going to the rapid fire. Well, it's just 10 questions. First thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Some are either or, some are on a scale, so just whatever comes to your mind. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. White bread or wheat bread? White. Do you snore? Yes. Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? 20 minutes. 1 to 10 minutes. So. Well, uh, either. I think that would be. I'm blowing Okay. Uh, big dogs or small dogs? Small. Big. Pasta or rice? Pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. How many pull ups do you think you can do right now? Zero. Zero. Do you like the smell of gasoline? No. Uh, What's the name of a triangle with two equal sides? I saw some <laughs> uh, Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish? Mingo. I don't even know what. Sour Patch Kids. Yes, Sour Kids. Okay. When was the last time you stayed up past 4 a.m.? Last week. Last week. Wow. Man. Years. Oh. Years. Why well, get up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear nothing. Years. I'm a night person. Uh, yeah. I will stay up and I want to sleep. I'm up oh, all the time. I don't go to bed last night till 12. It's 12 o'clock. Yeah. I'm, I'm good four or five hours sleep. Uh, no, she sleeps right here. Well, yeah. Middle of the day. Yeah. I'm like, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just her hours are more like a college student. Right. <laughs> My son. They have a safe sleeping hours. White bread or wheat? White. Wheat. Do you snore? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. On a scale of one to ten, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Six. I'm about a two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big dogs or small dogs? Smallish. Okay. Yeah, small. Alright. Pasta or rice? Pasta. Pasta. How many pull ups do you think you could do right now? Zero. Okay. Do you like the smell of gasoline? No. Yes. Okay. What's the name of a triangle with two equal sides? I saw the leaves, I'm guessing. I think the ladder actually has all three sides equal. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it has two if it has three, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish? Mm, I don't really care for either one. Sour Patch. Okay, all right. And when was the last time you stayed up past 4 a.m.? Oh, gosh. Does it count if you got up at 4 a.m.? All right, <laughs> that was the last quote. Years. Okay. Years yeah. ago. Right. White bread or wheat bread? Wheat. Wheat. Do you snore? No. no. On a scale of 1 to 10, how long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? Depends on where I'm going. <laughs> Four. Six. No, he's like a two. He doesn't. He's fast. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. Uh, time, not very long. <laughs> um, big dogs or small dogs? Small dogs. Small dogs? Small. Yeah. yeah. Pasta or rice? Big dogs. Pasta. Pasta. Pasta, yeah. How many pull ups do you think you could do right now? 20. 20? Y'all are confident. I don't, like, do you go to the gym? It was rapid fire, man. I just said the first, I might regret that if yeah. I tried it. <laughs> What's your answer? Like two. I don't know. One. Three. I know, I know for a fact I cannot do Three. one. Okay. Yeah. How many pull-ups could you do right now? On a, on a pull, you pull your whole body up. Probably one or two. <laughs> There are. There are. Somebody's going to call me to task on that. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Wow. Ten over here. I like it. Okay. Oh, man. So do you like the smell of gasoline? Yes. No. What's the name of a triangle with two equal sides? Two equal sides? Like, um, 
Bilateral? Isosceles? Isosceles. <laughs> equilateral? I didn't come up with these questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, equilateral technically yeah. would be three, three, but since it has three, it also has two. So that's why I went with pi. Yeah, I should have known that one. Can you edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish? Sour, Sour Patch, Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Swedish yeah. Fish. Definitely. Oh, Swedish, Swedish Fish here. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you stayed up past 4 a.m.? I have no College, idea. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> 12 years ago. When's the last time you stayed up past 4 a.m.? Never. Never. <laughs> Never. Hey everyone, uh, we've enjoyed seeing you at church underneath your mask. Can't wait to see those smiles one day soon. I do miss the smiles. That's probably the biggest negative of all this. Is you, just, you can show up for church and you can see people, but you lose a lot when you lose the facial expression. So hopefully we get to a place where that goes away soon. And I look forward to hugging Miss Patsy whenever I can get close to her again. Thanks guys. Everyone at Southside, hopefully we'll all be back to normal here before long and get the Sunday school started back and everybody in there just seeing everybody, but they need to keep everybody healthy. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised at how many people I can actually recognize with a mask on. And I'm excited for Sunday school to get started back because I'm missing my kiddos. So I'm at least glad that we're back as much as we are. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys have gone out and done these uh, front porch talks. I know it's kind of been a moment of brevity for us and uh, it's definitely been a, a rough few months and I know that's the case for everybody and uh, kind of what Brian shared this yesterday is rings true for everybody. You know for him it was camp that he was talking about specifically but we've all got those things and uh, some of them are more everyday things and some of them are more milestone things. Your graduation Maybe it's just a birthday party. It's just been a tough time, and that's a uh, thing we're all dealing with. And hopefully, we're uh, hopefully we're getting closer to the end of it. Uh, we love you all.